Good afternoon, students. Hope you are all fine. This year, for second level, we will take two books, Headway Plus Intermediate Students Book and Headway Plus Upper Intermediate Book. Unit 1. We have tenses, auxiliary verbs, short answers, what's in a word, and social expressions. Tenses in Arabic means zaman, as zaman. Okay. We have these tenses, present simple, past simple, present perfect simple, present continuous, past continuous, present perfect continuous, present simple passive, and past simple passive. We have, we have here, sorry, negatives and pronunciations. You know that the pronouns he, she, it, take, is, and also take, does. And the pronoun I, take, am, and also takes the auxiliary verb do. The pronouns we, they, and you, take, are, and take the auxiliary verb do first of all we have negatives and pronunciation correct the information in the sentences the sun rises in the west we make it negative for example the sun doesn't rise in the west it rises in the east we have number two cows eat meat you know that cows because it is plural take do and we when we make it negative it becomes cows do not or don't for abbreviation cows don't eat meat number three mercedes benz cars are made in canada for negative we say Mercedes-Benz cars aren't, aren't made in Canada. Number four, Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in 1989. In negative, it becomes Neil Armstrong didn't land on the moon in 1989. You see here that when we made it negative we omitted the ed of the verb because we used the auxiliary verb did with this sentence so it became neil armstrong land didn't land on the moon in 1989 and so on we have here short answers why do we use short answers in English? We use short answers in English conversation because yes or no on its own can sound impolite. It helps if you can add some information. So we use short answers to make or to sound the sentence more polite. For example, did you watch the match last night? You can answer, yes, I did. But when we will say, yes, I did, it was great. It becomes more polite. Okay, number two, reply to these questions using a short answer. We can add some information. For example, do you like cooking? No, I don't but I like eating. So you see when we added some more information like, but I like eating, the sentence became more polite. Have you got any brothers or sisters? You can say, yes, I have. Why did we say, yes, I have? Because the question in the first place started with have. So, Yes, I have, 
I like my sisters and brothers. That is, we added some more information. Is it cold out today? If you answer with a positive sentence, you say, yes, it is, because we started with the question with is. So the answer is, yes, it is. And if you want to add some information, you say, yes, it is. I like cold weather, and so on. Here we match a question that is for conversations. We match a question in A with a short answer in B and a line in C. Number one, do you like studying English? The answer is yes, I do. As I said before, we answer with do, that is the short answer, yes, I do, because we started the question with the auxiliary verb do. Yes, I do, it's my favorite subject. Is it a nice day today? The answer is no, it isn't, because we started, started it with is, and it is negative. No, the, the short answer is negative. No, it isn't. It's freezing. Have you seen my pen? Have you seen my pen? No, I haven't. You can borrow mine if you want. Are you staying at home this evening? Yes, I am. Do you want to come around? With the pronoun you, you can use it in singular and plural. But you use it in singular when we, you ask someone about himself, only one person. Are you staying at home this evening? Yes, I am. So the answer with am because I answered with the pronoun I. So it becomes yes, I am. Do you want to come around? Did you go on holiday last summer? Did you go on holiday last summer? No, I didn't. I couldn't afford it. The meaning of afford is I don't have the money. Couldn't afford means I haven't got the money or I couldn't pay for it.